What's up, Rockstars? Today, I have the pleasure of unboxing Monster Hunter World, the board game. That's right, this is it. Look at this big old box. We're gonna open it up. There's some, probably some big old monsters in here. I can't wait to see what they have in store. Literally, I have no idea what their prototype's gonna look like. It could be anything from, you know, like standees and <laughs> wooden dice with like etching in it to uh, pretty much a final production copy. I guess we'll just have to see what's inside. Now, as always, a huge shout out, huge shout out to my patrons and YouTube members. It is through their financial support that I can stay completely independent because I accept no money. I take no payment from any game developer for any reason. They have no say so over what I say or what I post. So when I give you my opinions on these board games, they are my honest opinions and not my wallet's opinions because it's not paid or bought for. This is a community driven channel where you guys create most of the content on this and definitely make the channel possible. So if you were able to give to that, I would greatly appreciate it. There's a link in the description below to both of those if you so wish. Thank you so much. If not though, that's fine too. A uh, like. A comment, both of those on the channel. The AI will love you. I will love you. Your mother already loves you. It's great. It, there's a lot of love going around. I would greatly appreciate that as well. And I get to hear from you guys. You get to interact. You guys know me. I'm all about community. This is going to be loud. Okay. So we have... What do we have here? We got... One mini. Two minis. These are big. These are big. Oh, no. Okay, we got... Another mini. They are, uh, or the minis, these are the hunters, um, organized. All right, we got a whole bunch of this junk. We got, there's more in here than I thought. A box. I'll be doing an overhead view of all these once we get it all out of the box. We got, anything else? Yes, oh my gosh. What else we got here? We got, looks like the game board. We got a piece of cardboard. Another piece of cardboard. Oh, I just dive in here. Could be a major award. All right, I think that's it. That's all we got. Let's get into it. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. Let's see what the, I think this is kind of the main box, but again, this is completely different, I imagine, from what you guys are gonna get. This is, after all, a early prototype. So, what that almost always means is the quality can only go up from here. Okay. Yep, this is the board game demo. Product not final, not intended for sale. It's got some great official art there. Very colorful. It's kind of an interesting box. I've never, just black on the back, I've never gotten a box like this for a prototype. So this is unique. I dig it. Kind of got this nice little lid here. And obviously this is from SFG. Let's see if I can't get it off. There we go. Something's poking it in there. You can kind of see a little dimple there. I do like, and I don't know how much the board game is going to like this, but if it's this colorful, like you see how saturated the colors are? And then that kind of silhouetted people there with the focus on the monster. I think it's great. Um, I would love the whole big box to look like that. I think it's, that's awesome. Okay. Inside, looks like we got a plethora of stuff. We got some loose cards here. We got uh, some dice and uh, various tokens, some shurikens, ninja stars, some uh, turn things. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the turny dial things. See what those are about. Come on, there we go. All right. Let's take a look at that. So it looks like, uh, I don't know if this is health or or what, but you can obviously, you know, dial dial it down or dial it up, whatever you need to do. Uh, let's see what the max number is. It's kind of curious. Um, eight, <laughs> and you can't go below one. There's no zero. Okay, I don't know how good to know that is, but there you are. Um, I will be playing this actually uh, with the game devs here after filming this, but I wanted this filming, as always, to be as um, authentic as uh, possible. So even like my patrons, if they get a board game before me, they tend to uh, avoid showing pictures of it openly so that I don't see them, because I like to kind of have a, 
Uh, what, I, what I don't want is just to regurgitate somebody else's opinion or to have something, you know, my opinion colored based off something. So again, this is about as um, raw as you can get um, of kind of an example. I don't, I don't even like look too much into things just and it's, <laughs> it's it's not a thing of laziness i just i really want to kind of uh have an oh wow moment if if there need be one and not have seen everything already and kind of know what what to expect almost if that makes sense so i hope that's appreciated all right i think those are all lined up i don't know why those were loose i'm gonna go ahead and oh, see now they're gonna all be different freaking lining up and lining down Ooh, no griefs uh that looks like so let's go ahead and go, let's just look through this, huh? How about that? All right. So let's say we got some abilities here that you can kind of chain. Uh, I believe you kind of build combos out. This is a shot, shot, shot. On the back is just a, looks like the weapon type shot. And here we have chain mail. And as you can see, it's actually the in-game graphic. Um, I, I if, if they're going to keep the in-game graphic, um, I would prefer, I don't actually normally prefer that, but if they do, I would... <coughs> I would like the contest or the contrast put up a little bit, uh, just so it's uh, not quite as muted. It looks very muted there, at least on the back background. Again, I'm sure the UI and everything isn't final either, but either either line it up or I don't know, just something, something. Uh, let's see, charged shot. If your hunter is within one space of the monster, draw plus one probably cards or some symbols, uh, kind of up and below and down and in the middle. I'm assuming this is damage. Um, Power coding, draw plus one and gain plus one shuriken for the next attack card. You play this turn, which inflicts damage. So you get these kind of combos of different stuff. Here's the iron bow. Uh, looks like you get one times eight and two times four, whatever that is. Use all attack cards with uh, the uh, bow symbol to create your hunter attack deck. It's kind of interesting. We got some chemo greaves with one armor and probably the slot it goes in. And who can wear it? The looks of it. And we've got a charge sidestep. Uh, draw a plus one for the next attack card you play this turn, which inflicts damage. And I'm assuming this means you can move one space in those directions. Interesting. And then on the back, you can see kind of the the whole the whole setup here. So that means that, like, let's go ahead and look at a Buster Sword because that's iconic. Uh, okay, so we got the Buster Sword here, which has a three times one even, but a one times seven instead of eight, and a two times four instead of whatever the other thing was. We got the Chimo Greaves, same thing, but this does have their symbol on it. Chain Mail, again, same thing. There was zero. I don't know why you would have it then, but whatever. Same with this, zero. Jumping Slash. Uh, I got two with the symbol this way, instead of um, uh, a line through, right? I'm assuming this is an end of something. Uh, I, I Oh, I bet you do something kind of like this, right, where you're building it up. It's a two. If this attack card is placed on the fifth slot of your stamina board, discard it. Oh, so you kind of, you know, you, you clear the slot and you keep going. Uh, Bloodborne did something kind of similar. Great sword block. Discard this attack card when attacked by the monster to gain plus three defense for the duration of the behavior. That sounds nice. Nice and defensive with a giant sword. You know how it is. Here's a tackle. It looks like you do a move. A, I don't know if this is a draw card or an attack and then whatever those shurikens are. Um, interesting. So there's definitely a wide slash, overhead slam, and charge up. Very cool. Okay. And we're not going to look at all of them. I just wanted to kind of see a few uh, different ones here. This is, uh, oh gosh, is this different? This looks different. Yeah, this is like stuff you can build. We got a shield spire. Oh, <laughs> we got the cats, of course. Big row spray. Select a hunter within two nodes of your hunter. Recover all health. The hunter has lost by setting their health dial to full. Flashfly Cage. If the monster is within two nodes of your hunter, place a Palico token on the monster's behavior deck. If the monster's next behavior has a move token, I want to paint these guys. <laughs> a movable symbol, don't resolve it. Remove this token at the end of the monster's next turn. So you get a whole bunch of these different uh, uh, you know, dressed up uh, uh cats which is cool and i don't even know what these are it looks like probably elements i'm assuming here but how they're built out what those are i don't know and then a big old deck here big old honking deck here. oh come on there we go okay and here we'll get to the minis don't worry these are all upside down let's turn these over there we are a whole bunch of the same freaking thing 
Lots and lots and lots of them. That was a lot more unsatisfying than I thought it was going to be with a big old, big old deck like that. But that's okay. That's all right. I'm put these here. Looks like we got a few more decks. Oh, another random thing here. I'll be able to. That's the bow. See, at least I know. Um, I'll put that on the bottom. That's where those are. Okay. So we have a sword and shield, a, a different sword and shield. It's more of a um, like a, a light sword, and then we have matched slicers. Awesome. Okay, so that's what we got for weapon options in this demo. Okay, we got different stuff here. I'm wondering headbutt forward to front claw smash. I'm thinking this looks like maybe zones or something like that. I wonder if this is this looks like the AI deck spit up head slam head plunge crush. I don't know if it's for a specific enemy or not. Oh, probably. I bet that's what these symbols are here. Yeah, so these are the different monsters. Should have two of those. Then, got more stuff here. And here you can see these almost like quests or something. I don't see. I do love the, uh, the just the symbology and kind of the parchment paper look to this tactical shift. Um, which has a whole bunch there. Threat shift, brief respite, uh, keep hunting. I'll keep hunting. Jagger Slayer, aimless wandering, exhaustion. I'm not sure exactly what these are. Maybe some kind of time thing. Imagine you're timed. You are in the video game, so it makes sense that you are in the board game as well. Uh oh, that's why it was loose. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, we got our stamina boards here. This is kind of the uh, combo. So in fact, look, you can even see the uh, the line here, right? So looks like you have your, your different uh, slots here. Let's flip it the right way. There we are. So you have your helmet and your chest and your uh, legs, then your weapon, and then some kind of like misc tool thing. And you can actually slot different parts there. These, this is nice. This is actually the exact same style of board, this like weird plastic stuff as I got for Storm Sunder. It does not smell as bad as Storm Sunder. Um, I don't know what this is. It's like some weird cheap plastic. I don't know. See how it's like really bendable and I don't know. It, like it's it's actually kind of interesting. Um, I would not mind game components coming like this. One of the nice things is it seems washable. Like I could spill something here and wipe it off, which is kind of cool. And it's it's very matte. You see, it doesn't really reflect, which is actually kind of nice. Let's go and take a look at the back. Nothing on the back, at least in this prototype. Um, and they're nice and thick. I mean, it's not not terrible. Not terrible quality, that's for sure. Let's open this up before we open that up. I bet these are the hero characters, the hunters. Okay, let's see. Maybe, maybe not. Looks like we got uh, one enemy. And there's their symbol and a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm assuming elements and uh, behaviors and like modifiers and stuff. It, the And then you got little shuriken signs here. Uh, 65 health by the looks of it, and then we also have, is there a front and back? There is on the back, uh, we have a reward table. You literally roll on a reward table, just like what's happening behind the scenes in the video game. That's cool. I get, I dig that. I'm down with that. Okay, and then we have the other enemy here, um, and kind of how things work there. And then we have the actual heroes. Again, we have game art here. This is all symbols. This is game art. Um, it's kind of interesting. This looks like um, different uh, modifiers and stuff that you can do, which is cool. So there's a front and back. Ancient Forest Armor Forge Reference. Okay, these are just different references for different things by the looks of it. Um, painting armor like that would be really cool. Okay, so there's a great sword. We've got the dual blades. We've got the uh, sword and shield and the bow. Okay, and that's that's what that is there. Okay, let's keep moving on. Almost time for minis. We're getting towards the end here. Okay, we have Monster Hunter World demo rule book. Product not final intent for sale. First time playing, yes. Um, that's cool. I dig it. Uh, learn to play video. On the back, we have a symbol reference. First of all, look how thick this is. There are some game companies that can't be bothered to even type out the basic rules that they have, nonetheless have something as final as this. 
So props to SFG for actually making a board game that they're wanting to offer, not just a campaign, like my shirt said, where eventually they'll make a game afterwards, but then focuses on the campaign. This, obviously, the focus is on the board game here. Otherwise, you wouldn't have this much printed material. Okay, so on the back, we got a symbol reference and then an appendix. Okay, maybe there might still be an index. Oh, index. So there will be an index, I'm assuming. That is cool. I'm fine with you not doing that until the end. It does make sense. There are some programs that will kind of auto do it and get you 90% there anyway, but I can understand not wanting to fuss with that too much. But I love seeing that they even have, because one of these, one of the things you have to do with uh, um, actually making a rule book as opposed to a PDF is obviously page layout and the fact that there's always another side to it and stuff. So the fact that they've planned an index to be around page 39, if they're going to keep this uh, mostly, is awesome. That's actually really great. A lot of times you can make little edits here and do stuff with spacing or call boxes or, you know, a little gain symbol or something like that to make things work. Um, it looks like a lot of uh, examples, uh, which is great. I like seeing that. This is... I mean, again, I haven't read it yet, but very thorough from what I can tell. Look at the different movement examples and whatnot. Um, this game seems ready. If, if I mean, if I was to judge based off of the fact that you have all these defined rules written down, again, it's nice when a company makes a game and then offers that game, game set up. It's nice to be able to see that. I wonder if they have a, oh, yep, break tokens, broken tokens. Uh, so this is a game component list. Perfect example what I like to see, an image and then a name, and this even has a little description. Now, I, I, sometimes you can get caught putting rules in here, and you gotta be cautious about doing rules and examples and stuff like that, but I love seeing this, that's great. Okay, very cool. And then the table of contents, how to win. Be a winner, that's how you win. Okay, uh, okay, so that's Steamforge's rule book. Glad to see that, really happy to see that. Let's take a look here. Okay, we got some cool looking paper here. Player name, hunter name, campaign name, palico name, monster successfully hunted, campaign duration, and then a big old slot here. I don't know what the slot is for per se, um, but even got a, quite a few of these. That's cool. Definitely kind of a, a you wouldn't want this on the table. It's big, right? Um, so definitely, I mean, it's bigger than the rule book even. I don't know why exactly it's that big, but uh, when it comes to table space, you probably don't want that taking up a lot of table space, which is, by the way, is why I hate these big rule books that people do. And, they, and it's like, it's only 14 pages. Like, yeah, but your, your rule book takes up half my table. Demo quest book, product not final, not intended for sale. On the back is just that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first few pages just to see what's going on in here. First time playing, got contents. It looks like it's just the two. There's different quests for each one. Quest adventures and then scout fly level. Okay, here's a assigned quest. Time limit, 35 time cards. Cool, cool. Scout fly level, two to five. Since starting point, entry one. And then it looks like here, there's no yet like how to, you know, use this book yet, but I'm assuming these are different things you can do. Assigning starting point. I'll have to, um, the rule book probably explains it. A lot of times they'll put the rules and how to read this kind of stuff. Um, in here as opposed to in the separate thing, but not always and that's fine. All right You know what that means? It's time for minis. It's gonna put this all back together. Let's put Humpty Dumpty back where he was Okay, so we've got these we've got these this is gonna be a mess now, but I'm not gonna worry about um, Putting rubber bands on camera you guys uh, you guys will benefit and I'll suffer is what what's gonna happen from that Okay, so we're gonna gently put all this back in Close the lid. And we are going into some minis. Let's start with the hunters. Now I do know that the hunters are a little bit smaller, actually, than what they will be. I was told they will be about 10% larger. Uh, in, in the final production plastic. Obviously these are gonna be, you know, these resin, I don't know if they're 3D printed or cast or 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 what, who knows, but um, they are actually a little bit smaller than what they're going to finally be. And they're going to be a little tiny anyway, because they want to get that scale. Okay, let's see, they're just kind of loose in here. So hopefully they survived okay. Hopefully they did. I might have to actually take some of this out. Be able to find them all. Okay. Alright. Interesting that they primed them green. They're already primed, which means 
Hopefully it's not a heavy prime. <laughs> and there's probably just that in there. I wouldn't expect any more. No, I don't think so. Okay, put that there so my puppy doesn't eat them. Let's take a look at some of these. We're gonna zoom in. All right, the next up, I think we have the game board itself. Take a look here. Oh my gosh. Now this is in four separate pieces. It will, of course, I think just be a regular fold out one, a normal one, right? This is a prototype, obviously. And it won't be this really thick kind of weird plastic stuff I've been telling you about. I don't know what this junk is. I don't know what exactly they use for it, but I actually really dig it. Like it's very durable. If I had made a prototype, I'd probably use it. If you know what this is, they're all different shapes. <laughs> Um, let me know. Like I said, I know uh, Storm Sunder used this as well. Maybe I'll just ask them. Um, but I really dig it, though. This is like cut in an angle, which is weird, too. Okay, so let's see if we can piece this together here. As with any puzzle, start on the corners, start on the edges, and then go in from there. <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Mm, I'm not sold on that. I don't know, guys. I don't, I, I, <laughs> I don't think that's it. Let's try. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I did it. Look at that. Puzzle accomplished. Puzzle complete. Um, This looks just like a level in the video game. That's actually, like, really well done. I wonder... They got this from the, the game. It's the, the other side. Oh, it is. Dude. Look at that. Look at that. Would you look at that? <laughs> and it's easy to flip. So there are two different maps. So that's cool to see. I like that. I dig that. I'm down with that. There we go. Um, yeah, that's cool. I like it. This looks a little bit more claustrophobic, even though obviously it's just as open. Um, I like it. Looks cool. Okay, so that's the map. Let's go ahead and get into some minis. All right, let's go ahead and start with the main guy here. The you know main one that you're kind of used to seeing, right? Um, when it comes to the weapon and stuff like that, right? I'll advertise this even in the movie. Um, one interesting thing is these holes go all the way through. That'd be cool to see in the final one if that's the case. It looks like it does. Yes, you can, you can actually see my finger back there. Or this little pokey stick. That's cool to see. Man, I gotta get close in here. Um, you got some like scale here. Uh, most of the things here, like this is very fine detail, so I'm a little cautious about that. Um, but then they have other kind of smart things here, like just really defined, you know, like here's a slash here, here's a slash here, right? That will look really good on a mini, even at this scale. Uh, again, some uh, detail here, so would like to make sure that that doesn't actually fade but again it's actually going to get bigger not smaller which is unusual so while the plastic will not be this resin um though this is not the best resin either <laughs> so there's that um yeah i don't know it, it'll be interesting to see kind of how it all plays out uh we do have these uh the trim is uh actually raised so it'll be easier to paint which is nice i enjoy that and notice he's not centered on the base which i also appreciate a uh, very flat single sculpt style right um but again uh not standing right here instead of standing a little bit farther back which is kind of cool you get that kind of like lead in there um which is awesome and a cool pose grabbing the sword i appreciate that and it looks like it was smart where it's attached here but then you still have this little piece here um you know to make it seem a lot more separate which is nice as well Okay, let's go ahead and look at the bow. Here's the bow. It's a giant bow. You know how it is. Uh, that's a very cool texture here. And I will say this is a very thick... Um, this is the actual color of the 3D print, right? These were 3D printed by the looks of it. Um, this is like literally they scraped it off the build plate, I would imagine. Anyway, um, this is a pretty thick primer. Love the quiver. Love that it's down here instead of up, and I love that it's mostly sideways. And I love that, though. I don't know if your arm at this at this ridiculous size, right? I don't think you could actually pull it all the way out and then draw it, right? Uh, a lot of times when you see swords in the back, it's the same thing, where it's like actually, um, you can't like flip it out of the. You can't. Your arm can't pull it out enough, right? Same thing here. I love the uh, inside part of this. That's actually really cool. I dig that, like a lot. That's cool. Right now, this is separate. I don't know if that'll ever get filled in. It's pretty skinny, 
but it works for resin, obviously. Love that how she's holding it. I think it looks cool too. Armor looks cool. Love all the little details. But there's actually, I mean, they're not like throwing detail left and right, which I appreciate. Um, you know, there's, you know, some stuff here and there's, you know, like a, a buckle and a, a little thing and a bandolier and, you know, various little things like that. But it's nothing crazy, which I actually like. Uh, okay, hairstyle looks cool. So she looks fairly straight. I'm actually kind of surprised that definitely shipped well. Very nice. I like it. They seem, by the way, at least here, a little stocky, right? It, it, it seems a little thick, especially their hands. Their hands look like a, like meat fists <laughs> like they're very thick but i think they're also wearing like gauntlets and stuff okay we got the dual blades here very cool armor set um and again he looks very thick uh again kind of not centered same with this actually she's almost well no she's just about centered he's not centered love the blades going back i love it how they're curled um it, it almost gives a sense of wings right but it, like in a cool way <laughs> his mask is up so you can see his face which is nice um, the kind of texture back here looks awesome, actually. That looks great. Love the little fur lining. Um, it, it also gives a clear difference between, you know, armor versus fur cloak versus, you know, whatever else. Um, even, even the little plume here or hair here. Uh, definitely a cool mini. And then finally, we have sword and shield. Um, which, oh, she almost seems shorter. They do, they just seem stocky, don't they? They seem... <laughs> I don't know. Something about it. Um, I guess because they're bolted up on armor, which kind of makes sense. Very fancy weapon. Very cool weapon. None of these look like starting heroes. right? They all look like they have a whole bunch of cool stuff. Um, like, uh, like cool helmet and uh, these freaking, uh, br you know, uh, greaves with, you know, the uh, like spikes and stuff like that. Look at that shield. That is a freaking cool shield. I dig that shield with a little dragon plume on it, but it's like a nice small buckler. Um, not the best uh, inside shield that I've seen. There's a slight rim here, and then their arms just like literally stuck through a little hoop, um, and they're actually not grabbing anything. This is probably the first thing I actually would hope that they improve on, which again, it's a prototype. They certainly can. I would like to see the inside of the shield, especially when so visible, um, given a little bit more TLC than that. Otherwise, this is probably um, my favorite. I really like that sword. Um, and being a tank is awesome too. Okay, so we've got these little guys here. Let's go ahead and move them. So you kind of see them a little bit, maybe right here. Okay, and let's take a look at the monsters. So let's go ahead and do this one first. Zoom out a little bit. They're going to be bigger. Move these out. And let's get started. We only got two more. This wasn't too bad at all. This is actually a lot like uh, Primal with the, you know, two two uh, two enemies that you're fighting. Which I think is a good example to show kind of the variety of fight mechanics that you can have. Um, so it makes a lot of sense to me. Alright, I can already start to see something in here. Definitely bigger. This is going to be a mess. It's going to be a mess. Oh, messy. Alright. There we got this. All right, there we are. Look at this guy here. Look at the size. Yeah, good luck, guys. <laughs> you are tiny, tiny, tiny. Yeah, good luck. Uh, very cool. Love the uh, claws and the hands here. Um, this is, you know, obviously a design I think we've seen a lot. Love the fur. Uh, the sculpted fur like this is great. It's not like a texture. A lot of times they'll They'll paint it like this and then just do, do like lines, right? Like, like a texture. Like, like they just moused over it while holding down the left click button. Um, this is actually sculpted in a very cool way. I dig that. I like how it gets these big old plumes here and then these smaller and smaller ones, especially as you get down to the side here. That looks cool. Um, this is just from 3D printing. That's not, I don't think it's supposed to be here. On the bottom, you start getting these spikes towards the end, um, which again, super cool. Nice muscle kind of ripples and stuff here. Gives it a real big, you know, T-Rex kind of feel to it. Love the little uh, gizzard kind of thing here. And even the fact that these little shoulder pads are kind of, this looks cool, right? Um, love that it's an action pose. The mouth is open. The tongue is like completely in the middle. All the teeth look fantastic. Love the teeth, especially the layered teeth, the ones on the outside there. Um, we got sculpted eyes. They're small, but they're there. 
Um, this just is a cool looking guy. The one thing I hope they do change is I hope they add something to the bases here. Um, I, I don't know if you even need this little X here, but if not, I would love to at least see that gotten rid of, if nothing else. If nothing else. And here you can see the posts right where they held it up, because again, this is 3D printed here. And then this is glued on, so they, they printed this disc separate than, you know, this guy, obviously. So... Um, and it does have a thick uh, primer on it, by the way. So just FYI, this is not the raw plastic or resin that, that you'll see. Uh, you can see it's kind of filled in some of the pock marks a little bit, right? Some of the little parts for the supports. It actually looks like this may have been a separate piece. It looks like it might be. Yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna call that right now. I think this is a separate piece here. Um, than the rest of the mini here but again they they glued it and they have a heavy um heavy primer on and it still i think looks great uh but i think that filled in a lot of this texture as well um but oh man but see like the texture here is great that's awesome right and it gets like really really faint here to where it's almost smooth um but yeah no love it love the design the neck kind of freaks me out it looks a little um you know uh like a cockatrix or something like that, some monster, but we'll move him aside and look at the last one. All right, let's take a look. Obviously, I will be doing a review of this. I'll let you guys know. Um, I'll be doing a cage match as well. We'll, we'll kind of discuss, you know, it, it, really how, how enjoyable this card play is. I think that's what we're all wondering about is how that's going to be. Uh, so if you aren't subscribed, be sure to subscribe for that. All right, last guy here. Again, it's gonna be messy. It's gonna be messy. <laughs> that was more fun than it should have been. Okay, a lot messier too than it should have been. But I'm not here to be clean. I'm here to open boxes and pull things out of it and show it to you. All right, definitely the more unique one. Um, I mean, this is just like like the the one of the things I really appreciate, and I say this sometimes, is a difference in fur. A lot of times, it's like if you get like a pelt onto a fur cloak or something like that, it all looks the same. So the exact same kind of hair. I love the kind of sculpted tufts that this one is versus the strands that this are. And again, it almost looks like somebody laid down um, like sculpting clay or Play-Doh or uh, clay or, you know, something, right? Where they just like had these little... You know, you roll it and then you can lay it down. You know, it almost looks like that. Um, and like a cool way, like a very neat. Um, a little soft in the details up here, but again, uh, not final. And there's some primer on this, right? So um, you can see, again, this this is the actual plastic color. This is primer um, that, that you can kind of even start to scrape away. Um, love love the freaky hands that they have and I like how it it displays all right these fingers are very long with very long claws um, a very cool kind of uh, puffed up little chest there again with kind of the weird gullet thing I love that this is hanging past that a little bit you just get, you get that little bit of separation same with right here I like that there are some scales here it's kind of hard to see but hopefully you can see that okay there you go now you can see it now you can see it. Uh, again, the mouth is open, and I appreciate that. And I believe, yes, it is sculpted in there. And um, there's also like some supports and stuff, which is kind of funny. Um, yeah, you, do you see the supports in there from the 3D print? Um, love that it's open, but not like huge open. That's actually not something you see all the time. These spikes are pretty legit too. Again, they get big and then they go small down the tail, which I appreciate. And again, coming off the base as well, which I also appreciate. Um, yeah, just a cool, cool mini. And again, even this small guy, um, he, he could quite literally eat you, right? I mean, that's, that's, that's not a problem for him. Okay, well, that is it. That's everything that they sent me. I'm going to go ahead and start reading the rule book. I'll be playing the game and I'll let you guys know all about it. Uh, so until next time, thanks so much for watching. I hope you appreciated and liked the video and I'll talk to you guys again real soon.